how can you find new clients for your local SEO agency or yourself if you are freelancing? Or should I say, how do you find good paying clients for your local SEO business? It's an age old question. After all, every business needs clients, right? Let's find out how can you get good paying clients for your local SEO business without those boring cold calls that people disconnect while you are talking or those emails that people use to make fun and get likes on Twitter. Hello everyone, I'm Amit Tiwari for Amit And you are watching a video about getting good clients for your local SEO business on a channel that gives you practical tips about local SEO, general SEO, PPC and some other tools here and there. If you are watching a video of our channel for the first time, do subscribe. It's going to tell YouTube that you have got a great taste when it comes to picking YouTube channel and YouTube will suggest you great quality content all the time. Help YouTube. So with my marketing pitch out of the way, let's talk about yours. And by the way, we are going to talk about just the local SEO, not the website general SEO, not the e-commerce SEO. Every aspect of SEO needs different kind of strategy to get clients. In today's video, we are going to talk about five do's and five don'ts, which will help you in getting good clients for your local SEO agency and also save you from bad clients. Let's start with do's. Number one, select the industry. There are hundreds of industries, but not all of them pay equal. A hospital is going to have more budget than let's say a, a school a school is going to have more budget than a plumbing company if you pick an industry that pays well you can be sure about finding better paying clients right i feel like i'm stating the obvious here it's tough to know everything about every industry it's hard to become a big fish in the pacific ocean but you can become a big fish in the a very small pond Pick an industry and become master in it. Know every Google My Business policy about that particular industry. Know how to get citation for that particular industry. Know about good quality local industry related directories for citation. Just be the go-to guy for that particular industry. Number two, take the meeting. Don't depend on cold calls. They are called cold for a reason, which is cold response in case you didn't catch my drift. Go ahead and meet the prospects one on one. Every business owner knows that they need marketing to get good customers, but they want to understand how local SEO can help them. One of the first few questions I get is what is local SEO? Is it SEO at smaller scale? What is the difference? Is it really going to get us clients? Maybe they had horrible experience with their previous local SEO agency and you can tell them what went wrong with their strategy, why their business was not getting enough exposure from local SEO. If you meet enough prospects, you will hear some really, really horrible stories. One doctor was told by their SEO agency that it's not possible to implement SSL on entire website in a go. They have to implement it individually on each page. I went blank for a few seconds when I heard this first time. So what I want to say is that give confidence to the client in your agency's ability by answering their questions and clearing their doubts. But don't over promise. Don't guarantee first rank on Google. In fact, you should never promise any position on Google search results. It's against Google's policy. Instead, explain the pros of more traffic, better quality traffic, competitor analysis, and most importantly, don't just hear, actually listen. You can save a ton of your time in researching about your client's requirement if you just listen to them. After all, who knows better about their problems than themselves? Also, don't force them to sign up in the first meeting. Let them think over it and decide. Local SEO takes months to show its effect and your client must have confidence in your ability. Otherwise, you will always be under pressure. Number three, build a brand. Every business owner gets five to ten social media messages or emails from digital marketing agencies. Everyone is offering digital marketing service from software development firms to your most favorite dentist. Everyone knows how to rank a business locally, but the business owners have no reason to trust them at all. They can't differentiate your professional local SEO service from other ones. And that's why you have to focus on branding of your agency. Branding allows you not to do cold calling. Branding gets you better paying clients and branding helps you beat your competitors. Also, it's easy to brand yourself in local area. You can participate in local events, sponsor them. You can run social media ads targeting your local area. Number four, low ticket items. As I just said, local SEO can take months to show its effect, but you can offer some low ticket services at your local SEO agencies so that your prospects can experience your service, customer support, and ability at a less investment and uh, a lot less time. You can offer web designing services, which can be done in a month, 
and your prospects will see the results very quickly. You can also offer website audit service for those who have website already. This is also a fairly quick process and client will see the value of your work. Social media management is also one such option. Although social media management takes a lot of work, but your client will see the quality of your work immediately. Your staff's professional behavior, your service quality will convince prospects to hire you for local SEO service. And it's also nice to have a little side income stream from such services. Number five, loyal customers. Your existing or old clients can be your biggest lead generation system. They are your biggest advertisement channel. When they are talking about your company or you with their friends and family, that's when you get more and more leads. Word of mouth is still the strongest and most converting advertising method. In fact, we get our 70% new clients through referrals only. I have never ever done cold calling or social media outreach and we have been in business for over 10 years. So I can confidently say that you can keep getting new business by providing an excellent quality service to your existing clients. So these were the five do's and now we quickly go through the don'ts. What are the things that you are going to avoid? You should avoid. Number one, stay away from spammers. People who want fake listings in bulk are a complete no for me. No matter what the reason is, no matter how high your budget is, I just don't care. People who contact to get someone else's listing uh, suspended or those who want to buy reviews are also rejected instantly. Trust me, they will always run away with your money and at the end, you will never grow professionally by working for spammers or scammers. Number two, check the history. It's a very important point for a local SEO agency. Never sign up a client who had a lot of listings and spam activity done for his or her business in the past. You will have to work a lot and it will never fetch the results as good as a normal business. Google never deletes any data and once it associates any business with spammy activities, it's always going to rank it down. You are running a business. It's fair to pick a winning horse, a client in this case. Number three, over smart client. Knowledgeable and smart client is an asset for local SEO agency. But over smart people are pain in where the sun doesn't shine. Normally doesn't shine. These kind of people believe that they know more about local SEO than a professional. And because they are paying, you should always listen to them. They will try to backseat drive, force you to make unnecessary changes in your strategy, waste your time. And when after all this, you won't be able to get the good results, which is obvious, they will blame you. So always, always steer away from over smart prospects. Number four, busy clients. Sometimes you get a client who doesn't have time for you at all. They are nice. They are good paying. They don't delay the payment, but they are just too busy. They can't give you time and it can create problems. You have to discuss your strategy. You have to know their input. And if they can't give you minimum required time or can't appoint anyone specifically from their staff, to be in loop with you, then I suggest you part your ways. Number five, partnership request. Just a few minutes ago, I had asked you to build a brand, but there's just a teeny tiny weeny disadvantage of that. You are going to get a lot of profit sharing requests in return of free local SEO service. Everyone believes their idea is unique and it's going to make millions. But here's the thing about ideas. They are worthless. Ideas don't have any value. Execution has. Everyone knows how to create e-commerce website, but there's just one Amazon. Google has an army of computer engineers, but they never been able to uh, beat Facebook. Execution matters. So just don't accept any profit sharing request, even if you don't have too many projects. So I hope you got some good points to help you get more clients for your local SEO business and also how to avoid bad clients. Focus on your professional ability, develop your skills and avoid spammy leads. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Amit Tiwari from Amit and I will see you in the next video. Take care.